I think this is like a really, really good commercial. Cause you do want to go back and pause the TV. To actually pause that, you have to be like a, like, oh my God, give me the, give me the remote. So the Super Bowl just happened here in America, and it is tradition for us here on React to take a look at some of the year's most talked about commercials and see which one is your favorite. All right, definitely. I did watch the Super Bowl, so I did see some of these commercials. I love to be advertised to. Most YouTube videos, I don't skip the ads, I watch them all. I am very ready. It's just flawless, isn't it? What is that? I mean, I literally couldn't imagine a more beautiful vessel for Alexa to be. Oh, Inside. drama. Alexa, oh. How many tablespoons are in a cup? There are 16 tablespoons in a cup. <laughs> oh, he is a Who's handsome man. <laughs> Who's that? Alexa, turn on the sprinklers. No. Imagine you get cheated on with a robot. That would suck. There's no way to compare it. Alexa, turn the lights. Wait, is he an echo now? Oh my god. Oh! Oh, oh, what a great dream. <laughs> I have Alexa and, and I have happening. John Legend. So now there's so Michael no, B. Jordan. Don't do that. It's crazy. Read my book. I was in his hands. I was being changed. Yeah. <sighs> I realized oh. that I was oh. also kissing you. Honey, other people have to use the bathroom around here too. That was so clever. I wish my Alexa was Michael B. Jordan. That'd be great. Did you guys turn up the temperature in here? That was steamy. I understand her plight because I would do the same thing. His thrust game is probably pretty intense. Every female is gonna go crazy with Alexa. Where's the red light? It's missing. What a mess. Did he even leave Post Malone? Okay. Oh. Yes, I am. Oh, right, some thrilly music. Let's do this. Oh. <laughs> I missed that. Get your bull I help. A singer, real man of genius singer. That's kind of. Sink it, sink it. <laughs> That's funny. This is so random. Oh, the guy went overboard. He's probably okay. Oh. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, so they're all trying to work together to get Bud Light. <laughs> Bud Light right. <laughs> if you want me to drink your beer, then just be like, it's Bud Light, it's delicious. But like, there's like robots and Cedric the Entertainer. I would personally love if Cedric the Entertainer was just like, hey, Bud Light, drink it. 10 seconds, bam. On to watching guys throw the pigskin. It was so random, but at the same time, I was like, I kind of liked that it was random. I thought it was great because I love the Avengers. And so like to see like them like, po especially because I love Post Malone too. Maybe my roommate listen to him all the time. There's a chapel in Kansas. Oh, I've seen this one. Standing on the oh my gosh. My friend texted me about 48. this. I like it the one missing closes. windmill thing. All are more than welcome to come meet here in the middle. It's no secret. The middle has been a hard place to get to lately. Between red and blue. Is that Bruce Springsteen? Servant and citizen. I don't know how between I feel about this. And our fear. Whoever you are, wherever you're from, it's what connects us. Mm. And we need that connection. Is it about the center of the United States or is it about we like a is it about like a drink? Because he was just drinking a drink. We just have to remember the very soil we stand on is common ground. See, that's a good message right there. I like that a lot, actually. Way through the darkness. This is the most American and thing I think I've ever seen. On the road, up ahead. It's either a drink or they're opening up an amusement park in the center of the United States. Is it a drink? Oh, it's a Jeep commercial. <laughs> That was powerful. And then it's Jeep at the very end. That was like such a, like a unifying, like powerful, like speech that Bruce Springsteen of all people put together. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be a Jeep commercial. It was a powerful message of just like, you know, humanity just to coming together and just, you know. Well, yippee Kaye. I want to be reunited in America. We're Reddit. In the heart. That was it. What? In the heart. What was that? It? In the 
in the head. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Big hands. That's fine. In the heart. Okay. Whoa. In the heart. Is this for like the stock stuff? Is this gonna be that was what that's gonna be about? That Reddit commercial? If you're reading this, it means our bet paid off. Big game spots are expensive, so we could buy a full one. Uh, but we were inspired and decided to spend our time marketing budget on five seconds of airtime. One thing we learned from our communities last week, oh big time, is that underdogs can accomplish just about anything when they come together. Uh, around a common idea. Who knows, maybe you'll be the reason finance textbooks uh, have to add a chapter on attendees. Maybe you'll help r Super Bowl teach the world about the majesty of owls. Maybe you'll even pause this five second ad. <laughs> You're right, Reddit. Powerful things happen when people rally around something they care about and there's a place for that. It's called Reddit. So what do you think about the fact that all that happened and then they took out a Super Bowl ad? I think that's pretty cool. That was so funny, I, gosh, it was, I, it was just like, I was about to be like, you have a tech issue. <laughs> over here. I think this is like a really, really good commercial. Cause you do want to go back and pause the TV. Or like you want to go on and like search like the commercial like on YouTube to like watch it like we're doing right now. To actually pause that, you have to be like a, like, oh my God, give me the, give me the remote. You have to be really good with your instincts. $30 million. <laughs> down the tubes. What is the message? Like, is it like, oh, Reddit's like really powerful, like we can do like anything? That's kind of odd to air on a mainstream network. You know what I mean? Like we're the underdogs. We could we could take over if we wanted to. This is the story of a boy with scissors for hands. No, not the that duck. one. Edgar, you're gonna be late. This one, my son, oh. Edgar. Hi, sweetie. Edgar, Edgar. I love this movie. Is that Timothy Chalamet? I love Timothy Chalamet. Oh my gosh! I didn't even know he was in a Super Bowl commercial. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was gonna like cut the football. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is why I love the internet. I know this is a commercial, but you can have Edward Scissorhands as Edgar Scissorhands in college hey, with Timothy Chalamet. This is like a recipe for success. Stick with the menu. He's so mean. Stick with the menu. That meeting would not. Is that subway? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! No, they didn't. Oh, that was so. <laughs> was that with No Rider? I think it is. Cause I watched Stranger Things recently, cause my roommate's never seen it, and I think that's her. Oh my gosh, that's a nice car. Go ahead, try it. And Edgar drove off into the sunset. But don't worry, he still makes it home in time for dinner. Occasionally. Huh? What was that? Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be a car commercial. That was like so charming. That was like a mix of like funny, but like heartwarming. Yeah, it's Winona Ryder, yeah. Great cameo to have in the commercial. And it was a Cadillac commercial too. I would have never thought. I thought it would be for his new movie. Oh, once again, I just love the throwback vibes because that's a great movie. And Timothy Chalamet really kind of would work in that. He did a pretty good job. Hey, Ratchets, look, I'm you. <laughs> Jake from State Farm. You couldn't find a standard <laughs> that looked anything like me. Have you seen mine? Like looking in a mirror, right? <gasps> Paul Rudd! No, <laughs> Look, guys, I don't even have a stand-in. I don't even have a stand-in. Hold on. Is, Is it Drake? That Drake? That's right. Oh my gosh. Drake from, Drake State, from Farm. State Farm. Like, like a, a good, good neighbor. neighbor. Oh. Like, like a, a good neighbor. neighbor. <laughs> Stand-ins don't have lines. Oh. Oh. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Wow, they really put Drake down there. He was about to say it beautifully. That was about to be a hit right there. Does Drake always have a heart in his hair? Twas the night before. Oh. Hold up. I love Marshawn Lynch. Let's take this up a notch. It was the night before Super Bowl. Oh. All through Tampa Bay, the Chiefs. He has a picture of himself. Ready to play. Yeah. To my wonder and I should appear, but the Super Bowl legends. Yeah. I'm like hyping. It's like yeah, hyping it up. Throwing footballs, snacking on legs, and destroying them walls. What are you doing? His idea, Dad. They're a little old to be wearing PJs. Go ahead, Dad. Thanks a lot. 
That is so funny, the PJs. I love when they're like acting like tough guys, like, yeah, and then they're like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that is so funny. I love how everyone has pictures and photos of themselves in this. <laughs> I kind of want that robe. Marshawn, if you see this, send me that. So get the Doritos. You guys are all right. Oh, wow. Tostitos, pour salsa, pour queso. Everyone's got such fun, silky looking PJs. Snack away, snack away, y'all. Oh, oh, he's rhyming. He's reading poetry. Good night to you too, Marshawn. Never forget the chips. Yes, he's amazing. I didn't know who anyone in that commercial was because I don't watch sports. That's a failing of mine, and I understand that. Those were probably icons of the sports world. I had no idea what was going on other than I should eat Lay's chips, which is good. This is what I, they probably want. Sounded like a threat. I will not forget the chips. I want those PJs. That's the number one thing I couldn't get out of my head. That was a clever commercial right there. In a lot of sets. Big time production for that commercial right there. All right, so after seeing all these commercials, which one would you say was your favorite? I would have to say the State Farm one. That was just so clever. Just because Jake from State Farm is so iconic. And he's like, yeah, oh yeah? Well, like, I'm Drake from State Farm. <laughs> that was such a funny play on words. My favorite, the scissor hand. I like that one. That one's cool. The Bruce Springsteen one, for sure. That was like a roller coaster. It was like, this is beautiful and powerful and just like so well shot. And I was like, I forgot that I was watching a commercial. And then it's just Jeep. It's just like that sums up like commercials just in general. What the message is, it's almost like it doesn't matter as long as it just says something at the end, like the brand at the end. I love that Reddit one just because it's so smart. It's so crazy like what happened and everything. I'm most thoroughly impressed because I got got. That one was pretty impressive and pretty smart. And the fact that they had the fast turnaround, I think that one wins it for me. Reddit, you get the rose and attendee. <laughs> You've permanently changed my vocabulary with that Reddit, so thank you. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the bell. What did you think of these commercials? Let us know in the comments. That's all, folks. Hey guys, it's Sierra, React producer. Thanks so much to all the creators who came in to shoot this episode with us. We had so much fun. Please support them by checking out their pages. You can follow them by clicking the links down below. Bye, guys.